Good day to you. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I want to speak to you for a few minutes about our time with God. If we look at Ephesians chapter 5, verses 15 and 16, See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Now, circumspectly means to be cautious, to be wary, to be aware. Okay? So, it says, See then that you walk cautiously, thoughtfully, being aware, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. Redeeming the time means to make good use of the time. In this instance, the way that is being phrased, it means to make good use, as in godly use of the time, so that we are basically using the time in a good way instead of an evil way. We are redeeming the time because the days are evil. So we want to make sure that we are not falling into evil. It's about time, right? There are 86,400 seconds in a day. There are 1,440, that's 1,440 minutes each day. There are 24 hours each day. Are we spending that time wisely? Are we making time for God? Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 32. Can a virgin forget her ornament or a bride her attire? Yet my people have forgotten me days without number. Now this is the Lord speaking. The Lord, we should put on Christ, put on the Lord. We can't forget our attire, which is the Lord. We should clothe ourselves in righteousness in the Lord. That means in God. We can't be a good Christian and forget the Lord and just ignore God. Do we get in the habit of where we're Maybe we're busy and we forget God. You know, each day we should have some amount of time. Maybe we listen to some, uh, some Christian songs. Maybe, and that's, that's part of it. I'm talking about being part of it, okay? We listen to some songs. Maybe we listen to, uh, maybe we listen to a preacher we know and we like or, or somebody like that. Um, Definitely, we should have some time where we, where we read some scripture and study some scripture. Even if it's just a few minutes of these activities each day, and, I, and I'm thinking all of these, we should try to do all of these each day, and then pray. I forgot to pray for a minute. We should definitely pray also. So we should do all these things. We should have a habit, a good habit, of taking a few minutes each day and doing these things. Now, I realized that we do get busy, that we have busy lives. But forgetting to do these things, forgetting to acknowledge the Lord and God, it's like going out naked. You don't have your suit of armor on, you're not clothed in Christ, and then you go out to face the day, and you're just not prepared, you're just not ready. And so... It is something that we need to be in a habit of every day. We can't allow ourselves to just get busy and forget God. We've all been guilty of it. I'm not any better than anyone else. I have certainly made this mistake myself. But we want to make sure that we're not doing this. Because that, it too, can become a habit. And then we forget or kind of, we get in that habit of just not studying, not listening, not doing anything to sustain ourselves spiritually. And then we become weak spiritually. And we don't want to be weak spiritually because the forces of evil are always there. And it's always against us. And if we become weak, 
it's very easy to succumb to those forces. It's very easy to be deceived into believing things that are wrong. We want to make sure we see it in this society, in the world we're in now. We want to make sure that we're staying spiritually strong. So we want to feed our spirit every day. James chapter 4, verses 8 through 10. Draw near to God, and He will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Lament and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and He will lift you up. So, in our sin, this is encouraging us to repent for our sin, to have sorrow for our sin, to turn to God. And ignoring God and staying away from God and not doing these things, that is that is a sin of itself. It's a sin of omission that we are not seeking God. We're not seeking His kingdom. So we want to do that every day, again, so that we can remain spiritually strong. And there are bad results in not being spiritually strong. But notice here the good results of repenting, of turning to the Lord, seeking Him. Draw near to God, and He will draw near to you. Notice, humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and He will lift you up. And strengthen you is the idea that He will He will help you. If we turn to God and repent, He will He will raise us up. He will be our guide and our help in this world. Isaiah chapter 45, verse 22. Look to me and be saved, all you ends of the earth. For I am God, and there is no other. Thank you for listening. Hope you have a wonderful day. May the Lord bless you and keep you safe. And remember, God loves you.